miss the opportunities. So we have millions of gigawatts of renewables to deploy over the next 30 years. Um, and if we look at just the next five years, we are aiming for five gigawatts annually. There are many challenges associated with this, but there are many opportunities. And as you navigate Windarba for the next two days, explore those opportunities, find your niche and make the energy transition happen. Hybrid is a really interesting space for wind technology. We're seeing it deployed in utility scale hybrid projects. Um, with the 100 megawatt cap removed, really there is no cap and we can deploy at a compatible rate for the energy system. So we're looking at maximizing energy output um, at utility scale, combining wind with solar and battery. I think there's been a very clear commitment from government through the various procurement rounds now that they want to see the acceleration of wind energy in the country. We need to decarbonize the industry, so the regulations, the review of Schedule 2, that's now out for review. We've seen the 100 megawatt cap lift. I think government has given us clear signals and it's now for us as industry to respond and deploy. It's not impossible until you do it. I think grab the opportunities again as women. We are really comfortable speaking to other women about what we cannot achieve. Uh, find your sponsor, find your voice and take it one step at a time because there are millions of opportunities available. It was very humbling because what I do is a passion. I love, breathe, eat, sleep my job. So if you ask my family, they know all about wind turbines and deployment and what's happening in the space. And I think when you love what you do, you don't see it as work. And when you are recognized in that way, um, it is affirmation that you're doing the right thing, but it's also um, perspective. And it's my wake up call to stay true to what I'm doing and to be the humble person that I can be.